what is up guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video guys i'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak a ps4 on the 9.00 firmware now this is super easy to do and it is super consistent and stable as well now you may remember a few months ago i made a tutorial on how to jailbreak a ps4 on the 7.55 firmware and at that time that was the only firmware you could jailbreak but with a recent release, you can now jailbreak a 9.00 firmware PS4, as you can see right here, if I go into system information. This is super easy to do, and basically anyone can do it, as long as you have a PS4 on the 9.00 firmware. Alright, so to get right into it, we're going to want to plug in our USB into the one of the USB ports on your laptop or on your computer. And then once you plug that in, you're going to want to go ahead and download these two files that I've got in the description. And that's Rufus and this disk image right here. And once you've got these two things downloaded, you're going to want to go ahead and run Rufus. It's going to ask for admin privileges. Just click yes. Only reason it's asking for that is because it's going to edit your USB drive. And once it's started, you're going to get this screen come up here. Now once you've got this, just go down to where it says Advanced Drive Properties and click List USB Hard Drives. You might not uh, actually need to do that, but if your USB isn't showing up, that's what you need to do. And once you've done that, just select your USB like I've done here. And then go down to Boot Selection. Click Select here. And then you want to find your disk image file that you downloaded. So it's right here for me. So I'm just going to open that and then click start. Now I'm not actually going to start it because I've already got a USB that I've done this on, but you will want to click start and this is going to remove all files from your USB. So make sure it's a USB that you don't really care about or it's like a spare one. And then once you've done that, just unplug your USB and we now go onto the PS4 and continue the jailbreak. Back on the PS4 now, what you want to do is first Go up to your settings, go down to system, go into automatic downloads and make sure that nothing here is checked and especially system software update files because if that's checked then when you restart your PS4 there's a chance it could update meaning that you'll update to the newest firmware which this jailbreak doesn't work on. So make sure that system software update files is not checked and that's all we have to do in the settings. Now that you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the internet browser and we're going to need to make our way to one of the many jailbreak hosts. And the one we're using in this video is going to be Caro218. I have the link in the description, but up here is the URL for it. So type this in on your PS4. And it should take you to this web page here. Now, what you're going to look for is Gold's Hen V2B right here. And you will notice there's also Gold's Hen V2B2. Now, this is a slightly newer beta version of Gold Hen. However, many people report it crashing more often than V2B. So we're just going to stick with this here just because it's a bit more consistent. So go ahead and press X on that. And it's going to start running the exploit. After a bit, you should get this message come up saying to insert your USB drive. So do exactly that. And you can put your USB into any one of the slots on your PS4. It doesn't matter which. Just plug it in. And you're going to now want to wait until you get a message pop up in the corner, which should come up now. Here it is. The USB storage device's file system is unsupported. That's good. Once that comes up, wait for it to disappear and then click OK. And you'll get another alert saying jailbreak done. Please remove the USB. So we're going to do that. Unplug the USB. And now click OK. And there we go, just like that, Goal 10 V2 has been loaded. No errors, no out of memory errors, it just worked first try. And that is what you can expect from this exploit. It is far more consistent than the previous one. And just like that, your PS4 is now 
jailbroken, congratulations. You can now use a jailbroken PS4. As we can see, if we go into our system settings, we can see Goal 10 right here at the top, which has a few useful features we can use. And also if we go down to the bottom of our settings, we now have debug settings too. So here we go. That is all you need to do to jailbreak your PS4. It is super easy, super straightforward, and should work first try hopefully. Now if you did enjoy this video and it did work for you, make sure to slap a like on it and consider subscribing because I'm going to be making more jailbreak related tutorials such as how to get any game for free and also how to get mod menus on games like Black Ops 3 here. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe, with post notifications on so you don't miss any of those uploads. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!